Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Concepts in Community Medicine. Now let's understand the concept of lead time in screening. Now let's consider this point as the disease onset. So disease onset is when a disease agent enters a human body or if the risk factors of a particular disease is present in an individual, it marks the disease onset. So here the person is asymptomatic and you may not be able to diagnose the disease at this stage. Now let's consider the next point as point A, which is the first possible point. So it is the first possible point where the disease can be diagnosed with the help of a screening test. So here again, the person will be asymptomatic, but you will be able to diagnose the disease with the help of a screening test. Now let's consider the next point as point B, which is the final critical point. So it is called as final critical point because if you apply a screening test beyond this point, you may not be able to receive the expected benefits out of a screening test. So ideally, a screening test should be applied between the first possible point and the final critical point, which is called as the screening time. Now the next point, we'll consider it as point C. It is called as the usual time of diagnosis because here the patient will be presenting with symptoms and you will be able to diagnose the disease. So it is called as usual time of diagnosis. So the interval between the first possible point and the usual time of diagnosis is called as lead time. The interval between the first possible point and the usual time of diagnosis is called as the lead time. Now let's consider outcome 1 as the outcome which is achieved by diagnosing the disease at the usual time of diagnosis and the outcome 2 as the outcome which is achieved by diagnosing a disease at the first possible point. Now the difference between these two outcomes gives the benefit or the advantage which is gained out of a screening test. Now let's consider with an example of diabetes mellitus. All right. So at the level of disease onset, now the person will be having the risk factors for diabetes like overweight, physical inactivity. So the risk factors are present, but the person is asymptomatic and you're not able to diagnose the disease at this stage. At the next level, first possible point. So this is the earliest point where you're actually able to diagnose the disease with the help of a screening test. So if you are applying a screening test between the first possible point and the final critical point, you will be able to diagnose the disease at an early stage when compared to the usual time of diagnosis where the patient will be actually presenting with symptoms like polyuria, polyphagia, polydipsia. So comparatively, you will be able to diagnose the disease at an early stage than that of the usual time of diagnosis. So this may prolong the survival of the patient. So lead time is the interval between the first possible point and the usual time of diagnosis and screening time is the interval between the first possible point and the final critical point of diagnosis. So if you find these videos interesting and useful, please do subscribe to my channel and comment below for more such videos. Thank you.